Welcome to Unbiased and On the Fence. I'm Shane. Well, those of us experiencing the so-called Mandela effect can sometimes get wrapped up in the cause and the different effects that we do see and totally miss the point of the effect to begin with. While searching through the raw and law of one material, I discovered a term that kept coming up over and over again, the term catalyst. Now they use the word catalyst to describe anything that's sort of outside the norm to shake you up and uh, you know get you out of the daily grind. Um, I mean, anything from good things to bad things, experiences of both uh, negative and positive can shake us up and polarize us and we can take it negatively or we can take it positively even horrible things that you would think like cancer you would think there's no way to get anything good out of cancer right but what about the person that's become so independent they feel like they don't need anybody else cancer might be the thing they need to shake them up both of my parents passed away with cancer so please don't think i'm being insensitive to cancer I'm just using that as an example because in the law of one material, they actually use cancer as an example of a catalyst. But some of their other examples of catalysts made me realize the Mandela effect is a catalyst. And uh, I've been trying to see it as a positive thing for quite some time, you know, after the initial shock of it. But I know a lot of people are kind of hung up on uh, the cause whether it is positive or negative. But this goes back to us creating our own reality. You see, whether it's positive or negative is really up to the experiencer of the Mandela effect. Uh, For me, it's been, like I said in one of my other videos, a quantum awakening. The other day, there was one thing that happened outside of the normal daily activities. I was taking my daughter to work and hit my son in the back. And I was almost right directly beside this car, this uh, minivan, and the traffic started slowing in in their lane and they immediately pulled over into my lane and cut me off and I had to slam on my brakes to prevent hitting them. And it was actually so close, I couldn't believe I didn't hit them. Uh, And I really didn't even have time to honk or even be upset. I was just checking, you know, on my kids. My son said the seatbelt kind of hurt him or whatever in the back, so I'm checking on him. Pull up to the next light, and I wasn't even going to engage the person because I figured they didn't even see me. Uh, But, uh, yeah, no dirty looks or anything like that, which, you know, typically I'd be angry, and I'd want to, you know, be like, you know, didn't you notice me or, or something, but... I even kind of stayed back so I wouldn't pull up alongside and make them feel uncomfortable if they did notice that they cut me off or just to prevent any sort of confrontations, right? I got my kids in the car. I was just really thankful nothing happened and that everybody was okay and that the accident was uh, prevented. Uh, So I pull up at the light. I see the window roll down. I look over. This lady, she's probably early 20s. She had something on her head. She looked like she was a nun or something maybe. She looks back at me and she says, I'm so sorry. And I tell you what, I was like, it's okay, you know, and I smiled and I've never had an interaction like that. I mean, it's just mind blowing how much I can see I've changed, but how much things can be handled so differently, you know? And that day, that was really the highlight of my day out of, you know, you wouldn't think that would be the highlight of your, your, your day, but you know, I ended up being thankful for it. I ended up feeling good that I wasn't angry at this girl that I would have totally felt bad about, you know, giving her a dirty look if she had looked back and then been apologetic, but I'd been mean to begin with. That would have been a horrible situation. I probably would have felt bad about it. But how many times does something like that, that shakes us up in the day, actually turn out to ruin our day? So I just want you to be aware that no matter what comes, anything outside of the norm, try to find the positive in it because these things are catalysts to shake us up, make us realize, hey, we're missing something here. And uh, 
we create our own reality. So if you want to take it as a negative thing, you want to have a bad day from something like that happening, or if you want to turn it around and find the good in every single thing and make it something that becomes the highlight of your day, it's up to you. It really is. And that's really all I wanted to share with you. I wanted this to be quick. So uh, go on and have a great day. And uh, please share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thank you.